It's off to a great start this year's NCAA tournament and only includes some local teams, but also some basketball stars playing right here at home. That's right. Sports director Nick Carboni is joining us live from outside Spectrum Center to talk about one of those players. But first, Nick, you've already seen some great action there today. We know North Carolina just wrapped up. That was like one of the games where I was like, I'm not super concerned about the outcome. Yeah, especially by halftime, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, Maybe we were for a second. Who do we have here? Because we're live on WCNC right now with some Tar Heels oh, fans. They're very happy, including this hello. little one. Harbor fan and Byron Duncan. <laughs> and they're enjoying a big win over Wagner this afternoon. So it's going to be North Carolina, Michigan State Saturday for a bid to the Sweet 16. We know these guys will be here. That is a big one. And NC State, they're the ACC champions. They got a big one tonight in Pittsburgh against Texas Tech. And they've got a big personality, a big player that everybody in America is getting to know but I talk to those who know him best. Woo, Gary. It's been kind of crazy. I didn't really realize it until after that game how big it could possibly get. Uh, it's truly been a blessing. Once in a while, a college basketball player comes along and captures America's attention in March. For the past week, that player has been DJ Burns, who helped NC State to a remarkable run through the ACC tournament. A big man with a big smile and a big personality. And according to his family in Rock Hill, a big heart. DJ is a people's person. DJ, when he comes out after a game, he's dancing with kids. He just has joy. And, and I think that's what fans love about him. Burns' joyous nature on the court is so contagious, sometimes those fans come from unlikely places. I got hit up after the game by so many fans. Like, I'm a diehard Carolina fan, but we love your big guy. And it's because he has joy. You're at the home of Dwight Keith Burns Jr where every day is a day that he picks up a basketball. The Burns are a tight-knit family of four with a basketball constantly bouncing in the driveway. Sports was everything to him all his life. I mean, at the dinner table, he's dunking on your head. The energy <laughs> as a sibling, it was more annoyance for me, but, <laughs> but <laughs> yes, <laughs> he loves basketball. It's been a long road from Rock Hill to Raleigh. Burns started his career at Tennessee and went to Winthrop where he also went to the NCAA tournament. His ability to never give up, it just makes me proud to be able to be a part of that. And Burns also brought the pack dancing last year, but this year America's finding out there's just something about this kid, their kid. I'm most proud of his heart. He's always had a big heart. He's always been a good person. All right, I'm happy to report the entire Burns family has made it to Pittsburgh to watch DJ play with the Wolf Pack tonight. That includes his sister, Nadia, who you saw there. She is a college basketball player at Newberry, and some of her nice professors let her do school remotely for a few days so she can watch Big Bro Ball. We're going to have more from Spectrum Center coming up at 5.30 and 6 o'clock. We'll hear from the Tar Heels after today's convincing first-round win as well. We'll send it back to you. I don't have my little friend here anymore. She might be a good luck charm for the Heels. <laughs> Hopefully so. I got no North Carolina State going pretty deep too, Nick. All right, thanks for that report. We'll check in with you soon. You got it.